What up, everybody? I'm back. Got it all cleaned out. I got my cam bearings all uh, greased with this engine oil assembly or uh, engine uh, engine lube, whatever the hell it's called. Assembly lube. Now I'm going to install the cam. Now even though it's new and, and, and bagged up, you still want to go through it and clean it before you go ahead and... Uh, Put it in your motor. Now I got all my cam, cam all cleaned up, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply uh, assembly lube pretty much to every little lobe and journal. I say the more the better. some duello or uh, just some R&B music these cams tend to go in a little easier <laughs> and the reason I'm doing the cam uh, first is that way I can at least guide it through the hole and not bang up the, uh, the cam bearings as much or any if possible That's it. In like sin. Yeah, once you got it in there, uh, I don't have my uh, rear cover on yet, so I gotta be careful not to push it out all the way. But once you have it in there, man, it should spin freely. And if it don't, then you got a problem. But yeah, this spins nice and nice and nice and freely. Now I got the cam in there. I'm gonna install my uh, my main bearings now. Same thing, you want to clean these before you put them in. And they're labeled too. Should say uh, uppers, and then you got the set of lowers. I know the motor's upside down right now, but you get the point.
Now for the thrust bearing. This is what pretty much uh, keeps the crank in place. Now these only go in one way, they're notched, so you can't really screw it up. Alright, let me get these main main cap bearings in. Okay, here we go, about to get the caps on. Now these things are labeled, so you can't really get them wrong either. And make sure you put a lot of grease on there. I'm about to go on the Easter egg hunt right now looking for that other boat I lost. It's number one. Here goes number two. And I try to keep the bolts with the cap, the numbered cap. I don't, I, mean, I don't know if it really makes a difference if you swap these bolts out with another cap, but I like to keep them all uh, all together. Number three, the thrust bearing. Number four. And then on the last one, these little angles go facing in. I see some people put them the other way on accident. They are gonna need a little bit more tap on them. They're not really sitting down all the way, but. I gotta go get my dead blow hammer. starting the bolts first before I tap them that way it's not moving anywhere and you know it's guided
Bruh. Right now I'm setting the angle. This shit's scary as hell, man. The whole damn motor depends on this. So you set it to 80 degrees, or well you set it to zero, and then you turn it to 80 degrees. Damn, that's scary. But that's how it's done. I already torqued them to 15. I'm just setting the angle right now. I already did those. Now there is a sequence, you gotta follow the sequence. Cranks should still spin freely. I'll finish up. I don't want to bore y'all. So this is the original cam I pulled out of it. This is the reason why I'm building this motor. The AFM lifter on this set, on this lobe bore, uh, gave out and it wore out that cam lobe. That's the uh, cam lobe where I was having a dead cylinder at. That little, that little bitty gap right there, man. That, that little... There's a, I mean, it's not little, it's, it's substantial. But that little groove right there, man, that can make you throw coils on your truck, spark plugs, wires, injectors, if, you know, you're not thinking it's the cam. Look at that. But I'm glad I'm finally taking care of it. There's that lifter that gave out, too. Thing was tapping for a while. I'm doing away with all that.